Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, oh, wait a minute, it's Thursday. Does that mean real estate sales are down after they were, oh, wait, no, wait, not down. They were corrected after they were released on Monday. Hmm. Or, wait, the lawsuit with Apple's apps and Samsung? Hmm, time to go to court again? Oh, wait a minute. I guess you're trying to figure out what they're doing. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And Japan's atomic disaster was preventable, the report says. Um, GPL, everything is preventable. And okay, if I'd have only known, that's called preventable. Okay, Japan is a country that is built in the middle of the ocean. Basically, the, so they have hurricanes, they have tsunamis, they have earthquakes. So how do you prevent a nuclear reaction from ever happening? You don't build the reactors. So I think you're way down the list on that page. Oh. No, that's the top. That's the top? Yeah. I'm sure it doesn't say at the top. Yeah. I don't know how that could happen. NATO, six service members killed in Afghanistan. Um, yeah, because when aren't servicemen being killed over there by that? But because the Pakistanis helped to, to tell them. Here's a good one. You're dealing with right-wing extremist governments and expect them to help you to get rid of right-wing extremist groups of who you believe in. That doesn't work that way. And Egypt's president reconvenes a dissolved parliament. Um, yeah, and then they told him to unconvene him again because the courts ruled against him. And tough ID laws could block thousands of votes. No, it does not even block anybody that's legally registered because the, okay, when the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals goes against you because the Supreme Court has already ruled that you can require that you bring identification with you to a polling place. Mm -hmm. uh, that's because the whole practice, okay, but they're trying to get around it now, like Washington State is going to allow you to register by Facebook. Really? Yeah, which means you don't have to register at all. Just whatever, in, Facebook does not allow information other than your name uh, to be used. Employers not rattled yet by fiscal cliff. But they're not going to hire anybody, so. <laughs> that's called, they, they, okay, they were going to hire, but now they're not going to hire. I think that's, okay, you, you basically you can tell where the news is coming from. If it's great news, it's probably, you know, uh, the government is putting this stuff out. Like that, uh, well, the, gov the businesses are doing quite well under this president, but they're not doing as well as they were under Bush. But they leave the, uh, the, the under the Bush goes way. Here. Well, the fiscal cliff is still there because the lawmakers signal a deep fiscal cliff deadlock. Yeah, basically the Democrats, the, the, this is what, I mean, I heard a person last night, actually it was James Carver, said, I don't know where these people are going. You know, he's in this other voice, he said, guys, you know, they're telling everybody out there that unless you meet our demands, we're going to screw everybody in the nation. Mm -hmm. That makes everybody in the nation that they need to vote for say, you mean if... You don't, for, the Republicans don't agree to raise taxes on the wealthy, which will bring in one, five, will bring in five hours of spending. You're going to let two trillion dollars in new taxes be raised on your constituents? <laughs> yeah, they said, he said, that's why they're getting a lot of FUs from people. Mm -hmm. They're going to, a lot of congressmen are going to lose their seats over, we're going to raise your taxes unless the rich pay more money. And floodgates on U.S. derivative reforms set to open. Oh yeah, the Obama administration is called an investment. It's a gamble. Investments are total gambles. There is no security in making an investment on Wall Street. But for some reason, the president, okay, this is the most anti-business president in the history of the universe. I mean, even Soviets and the Chinese know that you have to have business, but not Obama because uh, Obama's not real. Okay, I gotta hide it here. Like Bill O'Reilly, Obama's not really a socialist. He just has convictions that are socialist in tendency. Uh, a, a guy said, "He's a socialist." He said, "No, he just strongly believes that the socialist way of life is the way to get things done." They said, "He's a socialist." No, he's not. Uh, uh, I mean, Bill. Okay, Bill O'Reilly. Uh, the, 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 uh, over on Fox News, you have. If the President of the United States would come over to the network to do an interview and he would bend over to scratch his foot, people could be trampled getting to him to scratch his rear end. And I'm assuming that Bill O'Reilly and Juan Williams would be leading the pack. And Putin seeks answers after deadly southern Russian floods. 
Yeah, because the country isn't built to that. Okay, they don't have the flood system like we have in our country besides, because what they did was they spent like 50 years building the military up and not 50 years building in. I mean, you can't go anywhere on Russian roads. I mean, we're talking the stupid train is still like 70 years old over there. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, uh, you can travel. Um, they have their version of the Orient Express, you know, which basically goes way into China. The system, I mean, they're using the same crisp, uh, the same system that like 70 years ago, Ingrid Bergman used playing a nun traveling throughout Russia and China. They haven't upgraded anything. And bombs, bombs, clashes in Afghanistan killed 35, including seven NATO soldiers. Yeah, I told you, it's just, that's not news. The NATO soldiers are being, with Obama fleeing the country as fast as he can move his tail, the killing is going up because they know there will be no, I mean, like we, we had Hillary Clinton apologize to him. We paid him a zillion dollars to open up the road so we can withdraw. And great government wins confidence vote and biggest battles loom. Yeah, because they're not going to meet the next, the, as, the, as every time comes up, they do not meet the, long, the requirements in order to keep the payments going because the country is broke, folks. There are no tourists coming because I have relatives in England who, who have not had a wedding done in their place in like three months. Oh, God. Yeah, and they have an overhead that has to be paid. Whether anybody comes or not, they still have an yeah, overhead. They still have the overhead. Yep. And politically vulnerable Democrats plan to back Obamacare repeal. Yeah, but uh, but um, Reid will not bring it up in the Senate. They know that they can basically, there is enough votes in the Senate to throw out Obamacare now. But as na but he has now said, we do not need to throw the program out. We need to fix the program. Well, they, they won't even hold a vote on it because if he holds a vote on it, there's enough votes to throw the program out. So it's not going to get fixed and then... As most people don't seem to understand, the while the Supreme Court does not rule on the government's ability to tax people, it rules on whether the tax is legal or not legal. And as soon as the tax hits the first American citizen on Obamacare, they're going to rule it's unconstitutional because you cannot rule that a person has to pay tax before he's born. Oh, Remember, true. if you're not oh, even born, gosh. you have to pay taxes. And Massachusetts man pleads guilty and plot to attack the Pentagon and Capitol. You can't be real dumb to do something like that. I mean, those people actually need to be put in homes, not in jail cells. And Obama orders health insurance for government's seasonal firefighters. Um, because what happens is, if you're not working full time, you don't get insurance. But Obama now has decided that non non full time workers now must be insured by the government, which is uh, which he didn't have the money to pay for it, but he's going to do it anyway. And U.S. citizen freed after jail time for insulting Thai monarchy. You yeah, know, you don't do that in foreign countries because they throw you in jail. <laughs> there is no such thing as freedom of speech in most foreign countries. <laughs> I wonder how much jail time they had to do. Yeah. They know, but they should know better. Yeah. Um, no sign of Assad after bomb kills Ken and battles rage. Yeah, uh, because she, okay, what happened is they think one of the. Uh, one of the military officers brought a bomb into the building, and this is ridiculous because what happens is is that the Muslim extremists are now trying to take over Syria. But don't worry, our president said these are not extremists. Well, yeah, they take every country they've taken over has fell to a right. And the government, the elections have put in a right-wing extremist government, which means the whole Middle East is soon going to be under control of the Iranians. And no sign of Assad after bomb kills Ken and battles rage. I mean, like that. I mean, so oh, that's again. true. Attempted abduction of 10-year-old girl caught on tape. I know. Okay. You can't walk across the street anymore without being caught on tape. Every department store has cameras. Every street has cameras. You don't do anything if, if you can take... In, in England, for instance, they said you can't, take 20, you can't walk 20 foot without being on somebody's camera. Oh, really? And they don't even have, they actually they do have a CSI program in England too, you know, like our CSI Miami and stuff. And they're, but they, it's not as successful because everything you do in England is on tape so they can see the crime being committed. <laughs> um, car stuck by lightning won't turn off after removing the key from? Yeah, uh, from the ignition because it basically fried the ignition system and the car, you basically, okay. This one, be, little Rex is going to come and say, you simply 
take the cable off the battery and it turns the car off. Oh. It can't run without the battery cable attached. Okay. <laughs> You know. Okay, well that's for people that know cars. Yeah. I guess it makes sense. He knows cars. And, and haunting bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. <laughs> okay. That, uh, okay, basically don't believe anything you hear or see or read anymore because it's probably a guy on lying.